Okay, so another special type of multiple alleles that we work with a lot are blood types. So there's four blood types that people could be. You could be type A, type B, type AB, or type O. And what this means is that your blood cells have little flags on them. I like to call them flags. Uh, called antibodies, and so if you have blood type A, if this was your blood cell, you have little A flags everywhere, and if you have type B blood, you have B flags, and if you have type AB blood, you have both flags, and if you have type O blood, you don't have any flags, okay? Now, people that have type O blood are the rarest type of blood. You can only get blood from other people that have type O blood. If you have type AB blood, you can get blood from anybody. You can get blood from people with A blood, or B blood, or AB blood, or O blood, okay? So we call uh, type O blood a universal donor. Type AB is a universal receiver, all right? Um, if you have type O blood and you go to get blood, uh, they kind of flag your name and then they will call you incessantly asking to go get blood because type O blood is really, uh, um, in demand because if there's an emergency situation, they don't have to type you. They can just start giving you type O blood. So there's a little background on that. Uh, for genotypes, if you have type A blood, you can be homozygous, AA genotype, or heterozygous, AO. For type B blood, you could be homozygous, BB, or heterozygous BO. If you have AB blood, you can only be AB. And if you have type O blood, you're OO. It's pretty easy. Okay, so an example. Mom has type A, and she's uh, AO, is her genotype. And dad, has type AB blood, so his genotype is AB, what are their kids gonna look like? It's just like any other Punnett square we do. So for mom, A over one, O over another. For dad, A next to one, B next to another. Fill in your Punnett squares. So, phenol, and genotype. Remember, phenotype is going to be the type of blood they have, type A or type B or type AB or O. Genotype is going to be, are they AA or AO for type A blood? So my first kid here has type A blood, okay? So he's type A. Um, he's not, he's not, but this one's type A too. So a 50% chance of having type A blood. This one down here is a possibility of having type AB, but this one's not, so only 25%. And so my last one is type B blood. Since each of my squares has a different letter combination in it, it's gonna be 25% for each. So 25% a genotype of AA. 25% a genotype of AO. AB is 25%. And BO is 